The Germans have been holding Normandy for months now, with a hard defense line with hundreds of vehicles. But the Americans have joined the war, and they've recently discovered new alien technology underneath Manhattan. After coming to an understanding with these massive tripod beasts, they've decided to join the US Army. Now the aliens and the Americans are storming Normandy Beach. Will the Germans be able to hold them off, or will they die to the alien technology? Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Daily here, and today we have about 200 American soldiers here, along with three of these alien tripods from War of the Worlds, and they're going up against about a thousand Germans plus German tanks, including King Tigers. Um, there's also these, I think these are Jagged Tigers, I want to say. There's also artillery and AA guns for the Germans. The Germans are completely decked out here. And so, it is going to be very hard for the American infantry, but the War of the Worlds tripods are so deadly that they could easily sweep the Germans and make it to the back lines of the Germans and destroy them with ease. But we'll just see if the Germans can manage to do this or if they will die trying. This is a brand new War of the Worlds mod. Uh, it actually, we've played it in the past because it used to be for Call to Arms. Now it's for Gates of Hell, but with completely new tripods in it. So if you guys want to go check out this mod for yourself, uh, I'll be sure to put a link in the description below because the developer worked extremely hard on it. Either way, guys, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below what you think. Let's get on into it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then gamers, we're all ready to go here. The Germans occupying of course the trenches and a ton of vehicles ready to fire at these tripods. Let's go ahead and press start. We're going in slow-mo for the start here and let's see what kind of havoc these tripods can do because they are seriously seriously lethal tons of machine gun fire going into them right off the rip here um, but they do immediately start firing their lasers out here uh, it looks like it ends up actually tracking oh and there we go that that did end up getting destroyed <laughs> It like tracked it first and then went for its hull and that one behind it also going down. There's explosions hitting friggin' everywhere here as all the vehicles get zapped by the large lasers that come out of the tripods. Yeah, this is a yikes, dog. Oh! Oh my goodness! Those infantrymen are so unbelievably lucky that the sandbags protected them in their entirety right there because otherwise they would be mush they'd be literal mush at this point on the battlefield wowza oh my goodness uh but more inside the trenches here are turning into mush as they get vaporized okay some he shells actually impacting the ends of these uh tripods right here which is good we need some serious outgoing fire onto these things uh we've got some mg fire going into it some artillery fire um but it looks like the aa guns are focusing more on the u.s infantry on the ground and that's probably a good thing they're definitely oh my goodness oh my lanta my gubernatorial um yeah there definitely needs to be a little bit of a focus on the u.s infantry as well in order to win this battle because the tripods are certainly deadly uh, but the infantry is going to clean up after them essentially and kill a ton of german soldiers i have a feeling oh we got a german flamer over here the flammenwerfer hans hans you're doing great job with the flammenwerfer lighting up and uh, burning a few of these troopers to a crisp very very nice uh but the tripods all seem to be moving to the right side of the beach maybe this is oh because of the tank traps i think and this might be the only opening they're able to go through oh i see okay so a little bit of obstacles going on here of course in reality they could probably step over these tiny tank traps but since this is the 
uh, <laughs> GEM editor game engine, um, they're not going to be able to do that. No siree, Bob. Okay, we've got a bunch of these, uh, ooh! What was that? Something big just exploded and it took a bunch of infantry with it. Holy cow, dude. <laughs> it's just not fair. <laughs> oh, the U.S. got a hold of alien technology and, uh, oh my god, it's, e it's even worse than we could have expected. It's so unbelievably brutal. It's very cinematic, though. I can't even tell. So I think these guys have shielding on them, similar to the Star Wars vehicles when we use the Galaxy at War mod. And so once we stop seeing the shielding protecting from bullets and stuff like that, like you see how it kind of dinks and doesn't actually hit the metal. Um, I think once the shielding actually goes down, then these things can be killed. At least I think that's how it used to work in the Call to Arms mod. It's been a minute since I've played it, so I'm not entirely sure. But we got some good King Tiger positions back here. Ooh! Yeah, there's a lot of HE and AP shells hitting these things. Even the AA gun's going after it right now. That's what we like to see. Tons of fire going into her. It's just one of them. And it's still not even close to dead, I don't think. But you know what? I am enjoying seeing this thing get hit. Oh! Oh, there's like an energy shield. Did it, did it shields just burst, maybe? Maybe that like weird little energy shield was its shields bursting. Let's go into unclip camera position mode here to see. Yes, I think it's getting hit. Oh, it's going to get hit by the big boy. It's going to get hit by the big boy. Oh, it missed. Oh, that, that probably would have killed it, I bet. That's like 150 millimeters, I'm pretty sure. There's something crazy like that, but it did miss. <laughs> R.I.P., man. Who shot that? You. Why did you shoot so poorly? Why did you have to be so bad at your job? <laughs> By the way, guys, I wanted to apologize for no upload on this channel yesterday. Um, I, I got the flu really bad, and this is actually the third day I've had it. And luckily, uh, mostly just I've been taking a ton of medicine, and so I feel a lot better, but I'm still like taking breaks between working and stuff like that quite a bit. And yesterday, I just took the entire day off. I felt so terrible. And the day before that, I was like starting to feel bad. And then yesterday, I felt terrible. And then today, I was like, all right, uh, I, I, I want to do some work. Oh, the first one, I think it's dead. See how it's all scorched now? Did it die? Oh, is that it? Is that how it dies? It just kind of chill. Oh, wait. Wait, why are you... Its own thing is shooting it! What?! Why are you killing your own thing?! It's still shooting it. What? Does it, like, change teams when it dies? Oh, look at that. It does, because it's highlighted red. Alright, that's odd. Let's kill it real quick there so they stop shooting it. That's got to be a little bit of a glitch or something along those lines, but now the second one is coming up here. Um, by the way, U.S. Infantry also coming up here on the beaches, um, and they're basically playing cleanup against a lot of the German infantry in the trenches. There's still a couple artillery pieces and stuff like that still alive, too. Um, and those AA guns are definitely pretty lethal. So hopefully these U.S. soldiers can take them out pretty decently going forward here. Um, but for now, they are playing the supporting role against the German defenses. And that's going to be a nice grenade. Wait for it! There we go. Got it. All right. So we're in semi-normal speed now. This thing finally rattling off some shots across the lines to help out that U.S. infantry, which is going to be helpful, I think. Um, more big artillery boom booms coming in here. More tank shots and AA gun shots impacting it as well. Now, I did try and blend this mod. Oh, wait. Did you see that? The, the sphere. That means it's getting hit. Is it about to die? I think it's about to die. Oh, wait. She's still going. She's still going. It might take out that elephant tank. I don't think it did, though. Oh, she's struggling. The big boy is struggling on the battlefield right now. Yikes. <sighs> but what I was trying to say was I did attempt to combine this mod with the Modern Conflict mod so we could have the invasion of New York City, which would be so fun to do. Um, but sadly, the mods do not work together. I, I hope that maybe at some point we will be able to have modern U.S. soldiers and stuff like that in this mod. Because um, that would be wicked cool. But at the moment, sadly, that's not the case. All right. 
German infantry down here is uh, helping out quite a bit. Some Panzerstrex hitting this thing. It's getting clobbered. It has taken out an elephant tank uh, as well as another one of those big boy tanks over that way. So that's good to see. But there's a lot more tanks over here. Ooh, King Tiger getting hammered. I think it's dead. Yeah, it's on fire right now. It basically just eviscerated the inner components of that thing. But there she goes. She's starting to sway. And this guy starts to clobber her as well. What? <laughs> so I guess when they die their player teams get switched and it results in their allies killing them let's go ahead and delete it though so that way this guy stops doing that the final one left alive i was honestly not entirely sure that the germans would manage to kill any of these things because obviously they are so incredibly powerful but hey, props to the Germans for doing it. There goes the shielding right there. So this thing really needs to focus fire on the vehicles. Don't worry about the infantry as much because the US infantry can deal with the other infantry for you. Just kill the vehicles so the US infantry can come through. That's that's the big thing. Also the AA guns, that'd be great too. How did that thing, how did it survive all that fire? I am very confuzzled by that. Holy cow. Yeah, it seems like basically these things dominated the beach side. The, the beach front, they were just absolute giga chads towards. And then the further back they got, the more fire they were taking from the Germans, just left and right, until finally uh, they start to go down. This one's having a good run, though. It is killing a lot of infantry. It's killing some uh, vehicles. But there we go. She is going to die finally. Oh, she's swaying. She's swaying. Oh, big explosion. And down she goes, taking with it like half of the forest right there. Woo! All right, now it is up to merely U.S. infantry. If we look at the minimap right here, red are Germans, and there's still quite a number alive. And blue are U.S. infantry troopers. And there's a good number of U.S. infantry troopers still coming in here at the beachhead. They are struggling a little bit, though. I mean, just get some grenades off here, man. Oh, this guy's... What is happening here? What is happening here? We got an MG <laughs> and the Giver, and they just cap him. Oh, man. All right. Rip, rip, potato chip. This AA gun needs to die. I don't know why the infantry hasn't grenaded it or just shot them. They have plenty of angles to just shoot this thing, but they're not doing it. Why not? I don't know. German grenades going out as well right there. Uh, so the U.S. is probably still going to lose this thing, which was not what I was expecting. There we go. They finally killed one of the gunners on this AA gun. Get the other kill and just finish this thing off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just kill it. It's killing so many U.S. Oh, jeez. Oh, guys. It should not be this hard. All right. Let's go into normal speed here. All right. Just let her rip into it. Let her rip into it. Come on. There you go. They got the final kill. Uh, but right now, they're getting hit hard by artillery and grenades from the surviving Germans. It is not good currently for the U.S. infantry here. Uh, they are certainly taking some L's and in really pitiful manners. This is... <laughs> This is kind of sad. I mean, without their big tripods, they're just kind of sitting ducks here. They don't have any other armor. They're going up against a lot of armor further back here, so it do be rough. Although, actually, the AA guns are still completely distracted on this tripod. <laughs> they're just clobbering it with more and more fire. Oh, my God. This thing was devastating. I mean, they got so many kills. As of right now, let's check it out. Uh... So, yellow are dead Germans, red are dead Americans on the battlefield. I mean, but the problem is that most of the Germans were killed so hard that their bodies were eviscerated. And so, most of the German bodies are just gone, sadly, on the battlefield. They're, they're just gone. Uh, are we in normal speed? Yes, we are in normal speed. American soldiers still pushing through a good bit here. They got a King Tiger to deal with here. I'm surprised the tripods didn't kill this thing, but I guess they did go to the right side of the battlefield for the most part, so that's probably why this is still alive right here. U.S. infantry still firing away, but, I mean, it's pretty futile. They're, they're just going to die out. <laughs> There's like a 0% chance these guys managed to actually do something of importance here. I think what we are going to do is we're going to add two more tripods just to see what kind of destruction they can get up to on the battlefield because I think that would be really, really fun to do. Let's also go ahead and delete this one because it's just distracting all the Germans. Let's finish this battle up and then we can get some more tripods on the battlefield to really experience the destruction because the entire point of these battles is for the ultimate destruction. 
you know? We do a lot of tactical stuff in other videos, but when it comes to just having giant tripods slugging it out with the Third Reich, I mean, we just want to see some explosions, really. Uh, I think that's it. All right, let's go into fast speed here. The American soldiers aren't even getting kills, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they're just kind of firing blindly. The Germans are managing to pretty much completely suppress them. They've got multiple AA guns, multiple artilleries, uh, batteries still alive. They're, they're just dominating the battlefield right now. So, yeah, pretty much rip, rip, potato chip to the American soldiers. Um, we could go ahead and here, have this. Yeah, you can free roam now. Uh, we'll go ahead and have some of this infantry free roam as well. And just go, go finish off these Americans, okay? How about that? There's actually quite a bit of infantry left alive back here. Go ahead, boys. Have fun. Have fun. Yep, they're marching on forward. <laughs> Against the, the very, very few American boys we've got left who currently are apparently hiding somewhere. Oh, there's one. Yeah, they're just kind of chilling. <laughs> they're dying. There's a 0% chance of victory here for the Americans, for sure. Here's the German hit squad we just sent out. Moving out, getting more kills. Exterminating the last of the Americans. There we go. All right, let's have some more fun with tripods, boys. All right, boys, wave two is coming in. Some more U.S. infantry and now five tripods. I didn't increase the number of U.S. infantry, by the way. I just gave them two additional tripods uh, to really maximize the carnage against the Germans here. And it seems to be working as these lasers are absolutely cutting into the King Tigers and Jagged Panzers and the whole shebang right off the rip. I mean, it's just, uh, it's brutal to see. But it's also very fun to see, so a little, a little bit of a catch-22 there. Um, I will say, it seems like the tripods in this are far better at killing vehicles. I think the call-to-arms tripods were really good with infantry as well. And overall, I think they might have been just like a little bit more powerful too. Because in, in this, I mean, they're definitely powerful, but they're not quite that powerful. Oh! Oh! Oh, the big juicer hit it! That probably hurt its shields big time, man. That pr I, I can't believe it's still standing, but that's that's crazy. <laughs> that's actually crazy. All right, give me give me a German. Give me an STG, baby. Let's pop up here. Let's go. Oh, first we should probably kill a couple Ger uh, Americans here. Hold on. Hold on. Let me... Can I stand up? What's going on here? What's going on? Very hard to control. Why is this so hard to control? All right, I don't know. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, that's that's doing nothing. Let's let's concentrate on some American soldiers in that case. Um, uh, it's tough. It's certainly tough. All right, you know what? This is the big easy target. <laughs> All right, uh, how about this? How about this? We use the 15 centimeter SFH. Field Hausa. How about that? Ja, All right, let's see. Oh, it's reloading. Sad. Okay, hold on. Bump it up a speed. Come on, baby. Tilt that sucker up. Aim for the skies. Let's give him a nice, sweet little HE shot right to the belly here. It's still reloading. It's it's, it's taking so long to reload. Hold on. Hold on. We're just going. Going normal speed here just so we can reload this sucker and actually hit this thing. And they're concentrating completely on the right side, so I'm not too worried. Here we go. And fire. Oh, whoopsie. Is that going to hit? Hey, we got the hit. I don't know if it was worth it, but we got the hit. Let's go. Massive. All right, U.S. Infantry below the tripods, avoiding their massive pole feet, <laughs> or at least trying to. We've got a little bit of a traffic jam, I would say, with the tripods. They seem to be struggling with actually making it forward here. There's flames all over the battlefield from the destroyed German vehicles here. And now the infantry is beginning to move in on the trenches yet again. Let's see if maybe this time, with the additional tripods, we'll see a little bit more help. And there we go, that AA gun gets eviscerated. Nice. And maybe this artillery will soon as well. Ooh, Americans charging straight into the trenches. Grenades going out, the whole shebang. Oh, but Hans has brought the Flammenwerfer again. Yikes! Are these guys not able to make it up the beach this time? Oh, oh, they're gonna kill it? How did that not kill it? How did that not kill it? Exqueeze you? I don't, I don't even know what to say. That's ridiculously donkulous, baby. That is ridiculous. All right, are these things unable to make it up the beach because they're they're stuck against each other? We'll see. We'll let them sort it out themselves, okay? 
<laughs> we'll let them sort it out themselves. Oh, are you gonna get the kill on the King Tiger this time? It's looking dead. I think it's dead. The, if the top hatch is popped, it tends to be dead. Oh, you're trying to scuttle up that little cliffside. I don't, I don't know if the AI is gonna let you do that, my friendo. But oh, it did. She made it up there. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Well, <laughs> there, there's, they're coming for these Germans, man. And not a single one has died yet, which is very scary. Although the backline defenses are starting to fire into them a little bit more, which is helpful. But look at this. Now all of them are firing at once over this way. Last time around, it was basically the Germans had to deal with them one at a time. Now there's a lot more shots coming in, which is definitely a lot more lethal uh, for these uh, Germans. So let's go into fast motion here a little bit. Just to see what happens. We still got a King Tiger here. Uh, we've got the Elephant tank. We've got some uh, artillery. And we've got the Big Daddy right there. Oh. We no longer have the Big Daddy right there. We've got German infantry out the wazoo. And honestly, those Panzer Shreks, I think, could do some serious damage to these guys. Oh! Yeah, see, I don't think it's as big of an infantry killer as it was in Call to Arms. If you guys remember watching those episodes a while back, um, I, I don't think quite as much of an infantry killer, but still fairly decent. I'm not going to knock it. Uh, lots of U.S. infantry coming through the meadows here. It, it was once a peaceful little area in France, and now there's just a lot of dead people all over the place, and explosions, and destruction, and it is deadly to say the very very least king tiger here on fire popped it's dunzo infantry kind of getting left on its own i think that elephant tank is down too yeah still a king tiger over here as well as some artillery oh the king tiger just got swished by a little bit of a beam right there yikes all five are still alive now all five so the germans could easily handle three Five seems to be where they end up completely crumbling. And honestly, the U.S. Infantry is just here as a little bit of support and a little show of strength, I suppose, because they are not doing all that much. It is primarily here the <laughs> gigantic tripods that are doing everything, and they're just slowly but surely cooking the last of these Germans. Who let bro cook? The Wiener Schnitzels. And that's just about it. That's just about all she wrote. There's still one AA gun right here. It's reloading. Oh, it's getting shot. How how are the AA guns able to survive so much better than the tanks? It's so strange. Uh, but yeah, that's just about it, guys. Let's have these last three Germans try and run away. Run away! Go! Ah, they're gonna get zapped. They're trying to zap them. The hills are their friends. The hills are protecting the Germans! That one guy got big time zapped. The other two make it away. Yay! All right, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. See you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.